Hi all, so I'm doing uh, woodland bird photography today. It can be quite a challenging type of photography because generally um, the birds are quite small and quite fast moving and because you're in a forest or a woodland the light level is quite low. So that means you've got a combination of a fast moving subject and low light because as the uh, light filters through the leaves obviously it's going to be diffused and reduced. So it means you have to shoot with a high ISO number and today I'm probably going to shoot with ISO 1600 or 3200 and because I shoot with that high ISO number that's going to give me fast enough shutter speeds to freeze the motion of those birds. I'm also going to open the aperture wide open so in this case uh, with this lens my 200 to 500 zoom it's going to be f5.6 and if I open the aperture up quite wide or as wide as it will go that will mean I get the maximum amount of light through the lens so it helps to or it will increase my shutter speed so I've got a high ISO number and I've also got a wide open aperture to give me a nice fast shutter speed to freeze that motion now uh, I'm at Little Reserve uh, in Essex which is fantastic it's got a couple of hides and a couple of feeding stations and the thing with woodland photography to make it the most successful trip you're going to have is to go to somewhere with a feeding station or to set one up yourself. So a feeding station would literally just consist of uh, some bird feeders with some seeds, some nuts, maybe some fat balls and this food source will um, pull in the birds and it will make it obviously a, uh, a predictable location to go in order to, to see those animals. Um, what you do want though is you set your feeding station up uh, with all your different feeders and then you want some natural perches around that feeding station because it's a really boring picture if you've got a bird on sort of a bird feeder it's rubbish isn't it so what we want is some natural branch perches so some branches either stuck in the ground or into logs or if you've got trees around those feeders with some branches hanging down they would all work so what happens then is the birds often uh, go onto the perch first have a look around to make sure there's no predators and then they go on to the feeders or if there's um, a pecking order excuse the pun uh, with juvenile birds and then um, more senior birds the juvenile birds may wait on the feeders for their uh, wait on um, the um, the branches or the perches waiting for their turn so again it'll give you a few seconds to get those shots in a natural sort of setting you don't get long though they're on the the branches or the perches then they're on the feeders and they're off so you've really got to concentrate and be really ready for when you get that subject come in and the sort of subjects I'm expecting today are um, uh, nut hatches, woodland bird, um, common birds like all the tit species so blue tits, great tits, maybe cold tits, uh, quite possibly you often here get great spotted woodpeckers and then occasionally you get tree creepers as well and they're lovely little birds with like sort of uh, curved beaks so um, if you've got a well-established um, feeding station it gives you a really good chance to get these woodland bird photographs and it's fantastic and you know some of them are very common but it doesn't mean to say that you're not going to get some great shots I love photographing all types of wildlife you see little bits of behavior you see bits of action even if they're just perching on a nice branch with a nice background it all looks great so um, even though they might be a common species it doesn't matter I don't think and it also gives you lots of practice for focusing getting your focusing bang on the bird because it's quite a fast moving animal uh, I mean when they take off they're gone in seconds so I love all wildlife photography and even though it's these are common species I don't mind it's just a really good afternoon and just to watch them go about their business and see that little bit of behavior it's superb so again it's a really nice um, it's gonna be a really nice afternoon excuse the noise in the background it's a plane going overhead this reserve is uh, not too far from London um, so it's quite busy actually but it just goes to show that even in sort of fairly built up areas because there's a lot of uh, roads around this little reserve and there's a flight path you still get loads of great wildlife so this is going to be I think fantastic I'm really really enjoying uh, the walk through the woods already uh, it gets you in the right frame of mind so I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to do some photography um, and I'll speak to you soon guys
So, uh, I've got uh, nut hatches, I've got uh, long tail tits, it's really, really good day. So, uh, the feeders are working well and the, uh, the birds are really coming in great. So, I've got to be really quiet because they're a bit skittish, uh, but there's um, a little lull now in the proceedings. So, um, it's really good so far. If you get um, a, uh, an area that's got a, um, a well established uh, feeding station, it's always going to pull these birds in. So, uh, it brings in all the woodland birds. Obviously, the feeding station's got to be kept topped up all the time so that these birds know there's always a, um, a, a, food, a food source there. So it's really great. This food source pulls in all the birds in and uh, you're guaranteed to get some good shots normally. So if it's a well-established one, you're gonna get some great woodland bird shots. And uh, sometimes you'll pull in things like, as I say, nut hatches, uh, all, the, all the tit varieties are blue tits, great tits. Uh, sometimes you'll get great spotted woodpeckers and occasionally tree creepers. They're a little bit more, and not rare, but you don't see them so often. So this is absolutely fantastic. I'm having a cracking afternoon. I'm really, really, really enjoying this. So um, it's, it's, even though they're common birds, it's really exciting to get these shots because, you know, it's a little bit of an animal behavior. It's fantastic. And uh, just to witness it, even without taking the photographs, is superb, so I love it. So uh, yeah, I'll speak to you again soon. Okay. Mm -hmm.